So I'm Grace Brain, I'm the student guild president for this year. So I decided to stand for president probably about Christmas time in my final year. I toyed with the idea of going for welfare, I shadowed the previous welfare staff and I shadowed the president and sat down and had like a really frank conversation, kind of asking what the role involves, kind of the day to day stuff. There is no kind of day to day. We kind of all our responsibilities kind of depend on you can make the role what you want of it but equally you do have to do certain things within the job description um, and I decided to go for president and it was hands down like the best decision I made. It was really fun sorting out a video, getting campaign team together, like my campaign team were my absolute rock, like I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for my campaign team. Um, the whole elections week itself was actually really difficult. We had um, a very unique year in the sense that we had three days of strike, two days of snow closures. It actually just made it all that much more enjoyable. Um, it made us be really creative with the way that we were campaigning, so a lot on social media. The debates were really interesting. It just pushed us and challenged us in every way that you could possibly imagine. Definitely. I think like, as a team, that now, whenever we look back, we know that we kind of probably all bonded in that sense. And even with the people that we, we were running against, um, we all had a really unique experience together. I think that if you can get through that, you can get through anything. But like all of us are like now very different people to this time next year as we're going up to elections and kind of trying to encourage people to stand. Like I know how nervous I was last year and I'm so glad I did it. I definitely have like grown a lot as a person like within the role. Um, I know that sounds really really cheesy, but like I know you do all the opportunities that you get this year and the things that you learn about yourself and that you learn about each other and we're really lucky that we've got such a good team dynamic and it's such a we're so lucky to be in this position to represent students to also be kind of have students come to us and say what they want for us to change and what they want for us to do but also for people to respect us and, and listen to what we say. So I think you learn like a lot of skills, a lot of leadership skills. One of the reasons I wanted to run because I really enjoyed being part of a society, being president of various societies or different skills that I'd already developed. Um, chairing meetings is something that's really put me out of my comfort zone, um, especially in the president role. I'm chair of the trustee board, which all charities have a trustee board. Um, I'm a governor of the university. It helps me see the university and its function in a very different light from when I was a student and it's kind of made me appreciate university a whole lot more than I probably did when I was a student and um, now that I probably actually want to go back and do a master's at another university abroad kind of experience things that I didn't experience here at Exeter because I was a home student um, to kind of have a very different experience from what I had here but also take away some really great things from it I think. I think because there's a lot more to the roles and you kind of see at face value um, kind of we're four students that have like six students that have just graduated that kind of hidden away in a little box like in DH1 we're always interacting with students and they don't necessarily like know what we do on the day to day um, I think it just helps you see the way that different organisations work you learn a lot of stuff I know that I'm going to take a lot of skills forward into my future career it's kind of made me learn a lot about things I'm actually interested in that I probably wouldn't have thought about otherwise um, like I'm really interested in like commercial and more financial stuff whereas before if you'd have asked me that question I'd have never said that um, so I think it's helped shape the kind of direction direction I know I want to go in the next few years. Also, um, yeah, it's made me grow and like, I'm a lot more confident as a person. I think actually just standing on the hill in the absolute freezing cold uh, with music like blaring out loud, some of my best friends like on my campaign team. And I think the final day actually us all, like all of the people that ran, whoever we were running against, we didn't, we didn't know each other at the start of the week, just singing and dancing together and then going sledging down Forum Hill, kind of turning the snow into more of a positive thing by the end of the week. I'm just actually relieved that it was over. I'd say, like, go for it. Um, I was so nervous. I had multiple meltdowns when I was making my video. The amount of times I nearly didn't run or kind of wanted to pull out of it. Um, but it was all my friends and my, my family actually was like, it's so worth it, you've got to do it, you know that you're going to appreciate it. Um, and I think I was probably more scared to get the role than to not win as well because it's just you're putting yourself out there in front of everyone, you're making yourself kind of maybe look stupid like looking back at our videos now it's quite quite cringy to think about that but it's actually really fun the whole process and I'm just really really glad I did it um, even the experience of just kind of learning more about like how to run a campaign and just the, the things that go on at the guild that you might not necessarily know about um, it's all worth it.